Sitting in plum position slightly below the equator, this Indian Ocean archipelago enjoys balmy days that nestle between 24 and 32 degrees Celsius. Just take a look at that. Beautiful blue skies, powdery white beaches and turquoise water. Seychelles is an absolute tropical paradise made up of 115 different islands and over 200,000 people visit Seychelles every single year. Even South Africans are starting to call it home. So it's safe to say this place is lacquer. <laughs> With no indigenous population, the Seychelles culture and architecture has grown from all the African, French, Indian, British and Chinese influences that have arrived here over centuries. So they welcome anyone who brings new opportunities. Now how did you guys end up here? I think it was never a, a plan of ours, but I mean if you had have asked me eight years ago if you'd be living in the Seychelles now, I wouldn't have said Yes, but absolutely, I think we are living the dream. It's a wonderful place here. Uh, we've got a good life, great expat community. Yeah, we might sacrifice a little bit of fast food and some shopping, but tomorrow I'll be off and uh, we'll be on a beautiful island, catching a tan, snorkeling, diving, maybe going for a quick jet ski. The quiet joy of snorkeling appealed most to Simba and the big thrill around the underwater granite formations of the inner islands are the game fish and the rich large marine life. Together with an outer ring of coral islands offering sightings of eagle rays and whale sharks. But Simba had to shake a leg. He had a date with carnival queen Angelique Herba. Isn't it awesome to just be in paradise for a bit? Oh, I'm loving it. It's beautiful. Can you do the accent for me? Oh. I love to accent. Simba? Yeah. Jy my beste vriend wees, ja. <laughs> Dit vir my lekker was gewees, hier so met die, uh, die, die see, en um, ek not nou met die jou koekelikoer, ja. <laughs> she was a big flirt, but in an innocent way. So. <laughs> en jy is Pretoria my sien, hè? <laughs> yeah. Do you support the bulls then? Of course I do! Listen, like... All the way! Like, everything else about you is perfect. I think everyone has to have their own little flaw. I think that's... <gasps> yeah, the bulls, I'm sorry. What?! Yeah. But now, you're going to be hosting the carnival of carnivals. That's huge! I know, that is... Yeah, that is, that is such an honour. I'm looking so forward to it. Angelique was one of the guest MCs, representing two of the three official languages of the island, English, French and Creole. Honourable Minister, why is Seychelles the carnival of carnivals? It is the only carnival that manages to bring together all the best carnivals of the world. So these 26 cultures will do an explosion of colour and an explosion of culture in one carnival. This year's event was co-hosted by several Indian Ocean nations, including Madagascar, South Africa, Mayotte and Reunion. People are smiling, there are colours everywhere, people are dancing in the streets. It's an absolute festival of colours. It's a coming together of all the nations. It is just so much fun. They came from the Notting Hill Carnival in the UK. Germany celebrated Dusseldorf Carnival from Indonesia, Zambia and in the famous blue of the Azuri football team. There was no mistaking the Italian contingent. You see this? It's my happy face because of these beautiful ladies. Ole, ole, baby. <laughs> I'm out of the game. With Rio's FIFA Soccer World Cup weeks away, everyone's got carnival fever. It's amazing the place, uh, the, the people, all these people from all around the world, they all together I want to enjoy and want to get crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, dance and shake. Trinidad and Tobago laid down the rhythm whilst we had troops representing KwaZulu Natal, the Cape Minstrels and Angelique's hometown, Pretoria. What does it feel like to be walking through these streets dressed like that? Um, it's quite hectic. We have to stop for many photos. That's the women. <laughs> no, it's the men! You should hear the women shout at them. It's crazy. It was a little hot for Sweden's indigenous Sami people, but they happily fell in with other troops. Everyone learning everyone else's dances and customs from Mozambique, 
China and the US to Bhutan, South Korea and Bangladesh. Tell me about the outfits that you ladies are wearing. Okay, these are, we, these are our traditional like salwar kameez. These are for ladies. This, this is our Bangladeshi traditional. And uh, another traditional is our sari. In every occasion we wear this, like ladies we wear this. And uh, this one we chose red and green because it's our national flag, yes. Each of the carnival's three nights ended with live bands like Lisa Harley and the Zydecats who brought Cajun and Zydeco music from Louisiana in the US. After experiencing all those different cultures at the carnival, it's great to come and find a little piece of home. I'm at the Aish Bar where all the Africans get together and we've got the poiki going, we've got a few drinks and of course the rugby is on. It's just the perfect way to end a spectacular day. Once the game was done and nothing was left of that poiki course, it was off to catch another act live, like the country music of Michael Quinn and Bourbon Kings. It was a real United Nations of good times.